Today in our 2017 Subaru Forester, we're going to be test fitting the NO roof rack system consisting of part numbers INB117, and these are the NO square crossbars, 46 inches long, and part number INFR, and these are the NO feet for the square crossbars, particularly for, ra for factory raised side rails. We already had the front one installed. You can see we have a rubber coated steel strap that wraps around the factory side rail itself. And then we have this cover here, which is lockable. So once you install these, these are actually secured to your roof rack, or to your side rail, excuse me. The bar itself is nice and heavy duty. Combar combined with the rear crossbar, it has a carrying capacity of 220 pounds. Although you always want to double check with your factory's or fa manufacturer's recommendations to make sure that the roof, the weight isn't too much for your actual roof. Let's go ahead and show you how the rear one installs. We already have it partially assembled on our table here. We have our foot as well as our covers. We've already taken our end cap off. And pretty much what's going to happen here is this square portion here is just going to fit over our crossbar. Just slides on like so. I'll go ahead and put the end cap on just so we don't forget it. All right, with that done, let's go ahead and put this on our vehicle. We'll make sure that our straps are in the open position before we set them down and wrap them around our side rails. And once we get this situated, we're actually going to measure out our crossbar spread, and that's going to be from center to center of the bar. Now, for factory race side rails, there's no real set measurement. What I would do is actually go by whatever accessory you're putting on your roof, go by its recommendations for spread. Today we're just going to measure it out evenly on both sides to keep the bars parallel. And once we're done measuring out our crossbar spread, we're going to go ahead and measure out our crossbar overhang as well to make sure that's even on both sides. And the crossbar overhang is how much of your crossbar is sticking out past your actual foot. And we'll kind of eyeball it at first. And then we'll do our measuring on each side just to keep it even. Still got quite a bit on this side here we can pull over. That looks good right about there. So we'll measure it out now. All right, that looks good. Now we can start tightening it down. To do that, we'll take our strap here, and you'll see you have two sections that the ends of the strap will fit into. We're gonna go to the top one here, and then just use the included tool to tighten it down, which is kind of a nice feature of it because you don't need any additional tools to tighten this down. repeat this on the other side. And while I'm tightening this down, some things you can actually put on this roof rack, quite a few things. There's going to be bike racks, ski carriers, snowboard carriers, roof cargo baskets, and enclosed cargo boxes, as well as water sport carriers such as kayaks and canoes. Now when you're putting these things on your roof, make sure that you're not exceeding the weight capacities of both your bars and your roof. Or your roof, excuse me. 
With everything tightened down, our final step is to go ahead and put our locking ends in place, and then we're ready to hit the road. This pushes in, making sure it lines up, and then locking it in. And there you have it for the Inno roof rack system for our 2017 Subaru Forester. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.